Hello everyone and welcome to another live from the workshop and today I'm going to be doing uh, a bit of a rarity in a sense because I've only ever done one of these before. I'll be making a classic Sontaran and I'll actually be making the what, what, one of the only classic Sontarans we have yet to be released. I'm going to make the Sontaran Stike from the Two Doctors. So I have here a classic Sontaran, obviously. Uh, this, uh, I believe, is uh, Lynx from the Time Warrior, or at least the Lynx uh, release version. And all I've done so far on this is I have done a little bit of sculpting and painting. So, first of all, I've done a bit of re-sculpting on the helmet. Um, now, I'm not actually going to put the helmet on him, but I thought it would be just nice to have the helmet re-sculpted and made it look accurate whilst I'm... or made it look a bit more accurate whilst I'm sculpting. Um, I have re-sculpted the face. Uh, obviously, it looks a bit weird now, but hopefully when it's all painted up, um, he will definitely look a bit more like Stike. And then the only other thing I've done is I have um, given the uh, pauldrons and... Uh, and not pauldrons, the... Um, uh, why have I completely forgotten the word I'm thinking of? The uh, protect the pads, pads, <laughs> the elbow pads and the knee pads or the armor bits, and also the neck ring. I have uh, repainted um, silver. So the next thing that I'm going to do is obviously repaint the head. I'm also going to add a little bit of paint to the um, to the um, armor, and I'm also going to repaint his little device that will go on there. I did consider repainting um, the silver um, part here because he doesn't actually have, this bit isn't silver and then he has a, a silver belt instead. But the problem I've got is that I haven't got a paint that exactly matches this sort of slightly shiny look on here. I did do some test um, paint but he really didn't come up well so I am going to leave that so it is going to be a little bit inaccurate in that respect. But the first things first is going to be to paint up uh, Stike's head and hand, so that's where I'm going to start. And so here is my finished Sontaran Stike figure. Um, yeah, so there's been a few changes. Normally this is where I say, oh, I'm very pleased that it's come out, and I am. But there's been a fair few changes with this because I've had to go over this several times. Um, very quickly, just probably get into this, I'll show you that I've also done his helmet. I've sculpted on the ridge and also sculpted on uh, the, sign uh, the signature bit on the top. It does. Uh, fit on it, it with if you really do push it down, but it does scrape the top of the head So I tend to leave it off anyway because obviously I've spent a lot of time sculpting the face So I want to you know to be able to see the face um, Yeah, so I'm very pleased with the um, With the face sculpt and everything like that that I've done because obviously I've sculpted on uh, Entirely sort of a new front to the face which uh, I had to go over several times because uh, when I originally did the eyebrows, he looked quite surprised, so I had to bring them in a bit more, and then I had to bring in, um, smooth out some of the areas around the, um, smooth out some of the areas around the side of the cheekbones, because they looked a bit too defined, they looked a bit too sharp, and it didn't sort of blend into the rest of the head, so that did take a little bit of, a little bit of work. 
Um, the bit that took the main, the most amount of work, um, unfortunately, was to do the um, the armour on the knees and the elbows and also the collar because uh, when I first did them originally I spray painted them and I used uh, I think just a plastic coat um, spray paint, silver spray paint and it just never, um, it never dried, it constantly remained tacky and it was so difficult to to get them looking right and I first of all originally did paint um, the majority of the um, the knees and the elbows with a sort of brown paint and then I decided after re watching the episode I thought actually they are just more silver so I thought well I'll go back to doing the silver and I did the silver and that's when I encountered the problems um, and then I re-watched the episode again and I thought well the thing is they are sort of iridescent silver slash silver brown and then I looked at some pictures um, what, that I took at the Doctor Who experience where they actually did have the the prop, the costume, and after looking at them I realised they are actually more of a silver brown. So in the end what I did was to use a Sharpie to do the silver bands and then just paint the rest of it um, like uh, a sort of brownish colour to make it look a sort of silver brown, a greyish brown. And I think it's worked out much better, so anyone else who's, who's doing these in future, um, it does seem that these plastics, uh, at least with the um, the plastics used on the elbows and the knees, uh, don't react very well to some paint. So a word to the wise there. But other than that, I'm very pleased with the finished product. It's come out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, hopefully, again in future, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to do it yet, but for those people that um, do want to uh, create their own um, Sontar and who have a classic Sontar and body who want to create a Stike, I will be adding this sculpt to my Etsy shop in future. Um, obviously keep updated with my Twitter and my community tab on YouTube uh, to find out exactly when that's going up but it will be going up in future because I know that um, I know that a lot of people would like to see a Sontaran Stike and I, if we ever do get a classic Sontaran re-release, I'm certainly hoping for one because I think it's long overdue, it will give people the opportunity to create their own uh, custom version of, of Stike as well. But that brings to a close another Live from the Workshop and the last edition of The Two Doctors. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way. It's your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I'll see you with another video very soon.